Today's mystery box has been set by someone very, very special. And someone whose story is not very different from your own. He didn't go straight into food, he started out as a journalist. Before finally following his heart into the kitchen. GQ magazine called him a food visionary. The Chicago Tribune and Food and Wine magazine in the US held him as a genius. He sold over three million cookbooks. And recently, as if that wasn't all enough, Forbes magazine declared his restaurant in London the best in that city. His name has become a byword for Middle Eastern food that's bold and vibrant and supercharged with flavour. Please welcome, from Nopi in London, <laughs> Yota Motolenghi. <laughs> Otolenghi has walked in the door. <laughs> I am blown away, starstruck, overwhelmed, excited. I'm everything, all in one body. <laughs> Yotan's one of my biggest food idols. I love his approach to cooking. He's always pushed the boundaries of food. I think Yotan is an absolute legend. He's definitely reinvented Middle Eastern food. I can't believe he's here. Absolutely amazing. Do you want to find out what's in your mystery box? Yes. You can lift your lids. Now. <gasps> right, well, there's some just delicious and beautiful ingredients yeah. here. What have you picked so, for them? Some of my staples, we've got frike, which is a kind of green wheat. Yep. Tahini paste, which appears in like every other recipe that I publish. Date syrup, which is one of the nicest ways of achieving sweetness when you bake, when you cook. Sumac, which has got sharp and acidity, one of my favorite spices. A bit of flat leaf parsley, eggplants, a wreck of lamb, and some rose water. Great. Yeah, you can go anywhere with this, really. You've got 75 minutes to cook us a delicious dish with all those or one of those ingredients in the mystery box. We are only tasting the five most appealing dishes, so make it truly special. And the dish of the day, as usual, wins a massive advantage in the next challenge, the invention test. All clear? Yes, Gary. Your turn, would you like to do the honors? Yes, sure. Guys, one thing, remember, cook what you want to eat. That's my only piece of advice to you. Get cooking. I'm cooking the brick pastry. It's looking so good. I can see the layers, they're so thin. I'm just hoping that it's just so crispy. I hope I get to the top five today, but everyone loves Middle Eastern food here, so strong competition today. Final touches, one minute to go! Come on, guys, come on! Everything's going really, really well so far. I've crusted lamb cutlets with pistachios before, so I really feel like this is gonna work. The eggplant's done. I should be ready to plate soon. My gnocchi's been in the fry pan for a few minutes, but it's not crisping up. Ooh, very soft. I think I've got to give up. I'm shattered that the gnocchi hasn't worked, but my lamb's cooked perfectly. I just hope that it's enough to get it tasted. This is it. Final little touches. Ten seconds. Nine, Three, eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Your time is up. Well done, guys. Hey. Yeah, big fella. Mm. I'm really happy. It's beautiful. I really want my dish to be tasted by your time today. I'm hoping this is as good as the original dish that I based it on. The flavours are really beautiful and I hope the judges get the interpretation. I went against what the judges thought using the water bath today. 
It's important to show technique, but I'm just not sure what the judges will think of it. Hopefully, I've done the right thing. That was an absolutely brilliant cook. You looked a bit stunned that Yotam was actually standing here in the MasterChef kitchen, but it looks like it's inspired you. But what you want is to be one of those five dishes that get tasted because you want that advantage in the next challenge, the invention test. So, we'll start with... Michelle. What did you make? Today I made tahini ice cream sandwich with brick pastry and date butterscotch sauce. Great. You look pretty chuffed to be... <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> First time. I made tahini ice cream today, so very stoked. Great. Good stuff. What do you think, the item? The real test would be in the pudding, as they say, so we'll see what, what it <laughs> tastes like. I'm feeling under pressure right now because my brick pastry needs to be super crispy. I would love to hear the crunch of that flaky pastry. I just hope it's there. Oh, that, that sounds good. good noise. What a crunch. This is an achievement. <laughs> it really is. First of all, the fact that you made this pastry yeah. is an achievement. Even just thinking of the idea is an achievement. I think it's just the most delicious thing. That crisp and crunch as you pop the spoon through it is heavenly. I really love it. Thank you, really guys. good job, Michelle. Well <laughs> Thank really you. Job. I walked out of my comfort zone and I'm feeling so happy. I couldn't be more happier. Next up, Eliza. Oh my God, it, it, they've actually called my name and I'm pumped and I'm just over the moon. Did I hear a little <laughs> gasp of air as you went, oh, that's me? Yes, you did. Are you pleased? I am so pleased. Tell us what you cooked. A whole roast smoky eggplant with a tahini dressing and a frika, parsley and lemon salad. I love the presentation. It does look very, very good. You want to eat it. I want to eat it. It's taste. Look, I just love the creaminess of that eggplant. Beautiful against the nuttiness of the free cut. I think it's a really, really clever, really exciting dish. Love it. It's a wonderful dish. Thank you. It is, and having that salad, which is kind of a bit of a tabbouleh made with frika, is a wonderful addition, and it all comes together very nicely. I think I'm going to do that at home. I, I like it. Wow. I really do. That's a compliment, huh? <laughs> Good stuff, Eliza. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. Good job, Eliza. <laughs> the next dish we'd like to see comes from... Sarah. Sarah, what did you cook? So today I've cooked a frika crusted lamb with eggplant and a sweet and sour sauce. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, now nah, that's good. The lamb cutlets, absolutely perfect. <laughs> the lamb kind of nicely coated with a crunch. The crunch of the toasted frika is just a brilliant move. You don't have to French a lamb cutlet. No, no you don't. No, you know, I think there's, there's so much yumminess around mm. those bones. That's the bit that we all want to eat. I think you should be very proud of it. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Well done, Sarah. I'm feeling on top of the world. The next dish we'd like to taste belongs to Carly. Oh, 
When I walk my dish up to the judges, I know I've taken a massive risk cooking an Asian dish without any Asian ingredients. I just hope it's what they're looking for. What's the dish? So I've made a Middle Eastern crispy eggplant, which is essentially inspired by a dish that I love to eat. You just want to taste, don't you? <laughs> it's like satay. You've really managed to capture the East meets Middle East. <laughs> And it's just absolutely brilliant. You know, that is the kind of thing that you could put on a restaurant menu really easily because it's got so much flair and it's so original. It really is original. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that and I want to eat it, so that's wonderful. For me, fish fragrant eggplant's the most amazing thing. So when you have an archetype like that that's in your head, it's really hard for another dish to come in and reinterpret that. But you've done it. It's sweet, it's salty, it's crunchy, and that's almost impossible to do, so well done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy. I couldn't think of anything better. I'm just so proud that I pulled off this dish and pulled off the idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> the next dish we'd like to taste belongs to... What's the dish? It's lamb rolled in sumac on a frika pesto with eggplant puree and yogurt sauce with some crisps. The flavors are really beautifully balanced. The sharpness from the lemon, from the sumac. The lamb is perfectly cooked. And it just says, eat me. I was absolutely worried that this was going to be fussy and irrelevant, because the first thing you did was grab the water bath. Yeah. And I just went, Ben, no, leave it alone. But you've proved me wrong. I love that. It's delicious. Oh, my, oh, my. What an amazing transformation in you as a cook, Ben, in the last few cooks. Nice work. Well done, Ben. <laughs> Having my food tasted today is an absolute amazing feeling. It's just a great start to the day. Well, we've made our decision. Some great dishes, some fantastic cooking. But I think given the momentousness of this day, it's important that the man himself makes the announcements. You know, I was really bowled over by the quality of everybody. What you did in terms of taking ingredients that I consider simple and elevating them was really tremendous. I think the effort was incredible, the results were delicious, and we were, we were having a hard time deciding which one of you to give the honors to. And it wasn't easy, but there needs to be one winner. The winner of the mystery box is... Carly. <laughs> I'm so happy. I couldn't think of anything better. Yotam is such a massive inspiration to me, and I'm so proud that I could serve him something that I am so proud of. You know, we, we all love that dish, but I think Yotam said, I haven't seen that before, and that's one hell of a compliment. For me, that was the, what, the, the thing that just nailed it, the fact that you really managed to create something that is yours and new and balance it out to perfection. Thank you so much.